Okay, guys, this is a revision video focused on covalent bonding, uh, which is one of the main classes of bonding you'll be fo uh, facing in your exams, your IGCC exams. Uh, I'm going to focus on a definition, explain that bonding, and how to represent it using dot and cross diagrams. First of all, the classic definition of covalent bonding is that it is at least one shared pair of electrons between two atoms. So one covalent bond would be composed of one shared pair of electrons between two atoms. A double bond would be two shared pairs of electrons between two atoms, and so on. How do you spot covalent bonding inside molecules? Well, you're looking for those molecules to be composed of non-metal atoms only. So covalent bonding is between non-metal atoms. That is not an explanation of covalent bonding. That is simply how you would spot a likely candidate for covalent bonding. So when asked to define covalent bonding, you go back to the classic definition of a shared pair of electrons between two atoms. When asked to explain covalent bonding, you should be thinking about it in terms of chemical interactions and chemical bonding. All chemical bonding is essentially some form of electrostatic attraction between some kind of particle. So in the case of covalent bonding, you can see that it is a strong electrostatic attraction between the nuclei the two nuclei of the two atoms, and the shared pair of negative electrons between them. So the actual bond, the actual attraction, is between the nuclei, which are full of protons, the positive protons, and the shared pair of electrons between them. So it's a strong electrostatic attraction between the nuclei of two atoms and the shared pair of electrons, which are negative, between them. That's pulling the whole thing together. So how do you go about drawing uh, dot and cross diagrams for covalent bonding? Well, you can see this is a good representation already to show you what we're trying to aim for here. Start off with something really simple like hydrogen. The way I'd approach this is I would draw a picture of the two hydrogen atoms with their full complement of outer shell electrons. You can see this hydrogen has one electron and the neighbouring hydrogen is also going to bring one electron because that's all it has on its outermost shell. Try and represent one as a cross and one as a circle so you can differentiate between the two atoms. Then consider how they're going to pair up. Well, you want their uh, outermost shells to overlap. So I'm going to draw almost like a Venn diagram style picture with the two hydrogen atoms and their outermost shells overlapping. In the central area, the shared area, which is going to create the chemical bond or interaction, I'm going to put the shared pair of electrons. And there you have your hydrogen molecule. The two nuclei of the two hydrogen atoms are being attracted towards the shared pair between them. And that is our first diagram. A few more examples for you. Hydrogen chloride. Uh, this is uh, hydrogen chloride gas. This is not when it's associated. Uh, again, you just draw a picture of a hydrogen atom. We'll do it red this time with its outermost electron, and the chlorine atom, which is in group 7, so it has 7 outer shell electrons. At this point, once we go beyond an element that has 4 electrons in its outer shell, I would suggest that you fill the shell singly before doubling up. So I'm going to put one electron here in each quarter of the shell, and then start doubling up with my second electron until I get to my full complement of seven outer shell electrons. The reason why I do this is I can very quickly see where the pairing opportunity is between the single electron on the hydrogen and the single electron on the chlorine. So then, to draw your covalently bonded molecule, overlap the outer shells of the chlorine and the hydrogen, like so, and place on the shared pair between the hydrogen and the chlorine atom, and then finish off the chlorine with its full remaining seven electrons. And you can see now we have eight electrons surrounding the chlorine, two surrounding the hydrogen, a complete outer shell for both the hydrogen and the chlorine atoms, a correct molecule. Oxygen, next again. Each oxygen is a group six atom and brings six electrons in its outer shell. So I'm going to represent one as crosses, and again, because I'm going above four, I'm going to go around singly before I double up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And for the other option, I'm going to do the same thing with circles, two or dots, three, four, five, six. Looks, take a step back and have a look. I can see there are clearly two opportunities for pairing, one here, one here. So these two could pair up, these two could pair up. There's two opportunities for pairing. So then in my molecule, I'm going to uh, overlap my oxygen outer shells, like so. And then in the central shared area, I'm going to put my two shared pairs, so two 
crosses and two dots in the shared area. That's a double bond. And then just finish off the option with its remaining uh, electrons in blue and the remaining electrons in red, like so. And you can see that this auction has eight electrons around its outer shell. This auction has eight electrons around its outer shell. They are both complete molecules with their full outer shell complement. And if I was going to draw this linearly with line diagram to represent that double bond, it would have two lines between the two options, each line representing a shared pair of electrons. Next, nitrogen again two different colors one nitrogen here one nitrogen there for each one i'm going to uh, draw around singly before i start doubling up so one let's group five elements so one two three four five stop next one one two three four five quite clearly again take a step back i can see i have three opportunities for pairing here and for each nitrogen to get a flower shell it must pair completely up with all those available spaces to give them eight each so um, i will put one nitrogen here overlapping with the neighboring nitrogen atom do my pairing first if you like so i can see i'm going to have to have three crosses in the center here and three dots so that is actually quite bunched up there, but there are actually now six electrons, three shared pairs in this central area here, and then put my remaining leftover two electrons on the nitrogen here, and two electrons on my nitrogen here. Each nitrogen now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight electrons around it, complete outer shells, stable molecules. And again, thinking about this one, it's nitrogen triply bonded to the other nitrogen. Finally, carbon dioxide, quite a tricky one here, but again, draw them out to visualize. I've got a carbon with one, two, three, four electrons in its outer shell. I've got two options around it, draw one on each side. Each one has six electrons, one, two, three, group six. So six there and one, two, three, four, five, six there. So you can clearly see that each of the oxygens could possibly use two electrons to form pairs, but the carbon can use four because it has four unpaired electrons, all of which could be involved in bonding, could be used for pairing up. So it looks like each oxygen could form two pairs with the carbon respectively. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try and do here. My carbon in the center with its shell put the two options either side of the carbon and create an overlap with their outer shells and as i said looks like each oxygen can bring two of its electrons into the sharing situation remaining ones are already paired off and are unusable and then i've got to think about where i'm gonna put my carbons electrons i'm not going to put them in the unsharing areas i'm not going to put two here and two here because i wouldn't actually get any bonding i wouldn't get any covalent bonding at all i'm going to put them also in the sharing area between the nuclei of the oxygen and the nuclei of the carbon and again i can see that each car the carbon can bring four total two for each oxygen so I put two in this area here two in this area here and i can see that now each atom has its full complement of eight outer shell electrons so this oxygen has eight this carbon has eight this oxygen has eight they're all stable and filled outer shells and there are two covalent bonds between each of the oxygens and carbon so to draw that with uh, linear line diagrams two bonds a double bond to the oxygen there double bond to the oxygen there and there's our completed molecule. So I think, you know, drawing out the, the atoms before you start and seeing and visualizing how you're going to overlap and create these shared pairs is a really nice way of, of representing covenant bonding. Hope this helps to, uh, to you to complete these uh, successfully.